The Health Fix Podcast teaches you how to take charge of your health naturally by giving you the information you need to elevate your health. Hey, health junkies. Welcome to another episode of The Health Fix. I'm your host, Dr. Janine Krause, and in today's episode, I'm interviewing Tim James. He is the host of The Health Hero Show, and he has the website Chemical Free Body, where he's teaching folks how to detox on a daily basis. Basis. So Tim got into the game after suffering multiple health issues, including rectal bleeding, ew, and separate skin issues, in addition to indigestion and surgery to remove one of his organs due to digestive issues. So this is a big deal for Tim, and he's just decided that this is going to be his mission in life, and he's bringing a lot of good information to the table. So I hope you guys enjoy this podcast. We're going to be diving deep into the full recipe on how you can get a chemical-free body. All right, let's get on with the podcast. All right, health junkies, I have a treat for you. I have Tim James on the podcast today, and we are going to be talking about all things related to getting a hold of a chemical-free body and how to create your own. And so, Tim, welcome to the podcast. Hey, uh, Janine, thank you so much for having me on. And um, I was really touched to hear your story about your husband, Joel, getting his sprouting going. That's pretty cool. Yes, yes. You are famous in our home. My husband has literally decided that all of the things I've been telling him for the last 10 plus years finally make sense. Mm. So thank you for putting that together for him and for me. I um, er, am eternally grateful for that because now it all makes sense in our house and we're all aligned. So that is freaking so cool. I, I was telling you earlier, I get that a lot from women. They, uh, especially for you ladies listening, if you, if you have you know, you've been listening to uh, Dr. Janine here and you've been implementing and getting results and you're really happy, which I'm sure you are. Um, but your husband's, you know, a little slow on the uptake. You know, I'm here for you. Just, you know, get get him in front of another dude and, and that, that gets all this stuff. And, and hopefully that'll help when I have a, you know, they can listen to my show a couple of times. It's just, it just works, you know, and it's, I have people in my, I have a couple people in my life that I I've been telling them this stuff for 11 years. And it's like, ah, you don't know what you're doing. You're not a doctor. And I'm like, I don't want to be one. You know, it's just like, whatever. Oh man. Yeah. There's just something about dude code. I don't know, but it works. (laughs) I'm grateful because now I have a house filled with sprouts and filled with microgreens and literally we are indoor farming as well as outdoor gardening. So we've, it's great whole 180 for my husband. So I am grateful for that. So today we have a lot to talk about because we're going to talk a little bit about some of your products that you have and and the difference between your supplements and a lot of the ones that are on the market that actually have some toxic ingredients. Because folks, I'm I'm going to set it up for you. Today, we're going to talk about how to really help your body to detox all day long Mm -hmm. versus like letting things build up and then do sequential detoxes. So anyway, let's, let's jump in. Tim, tell everybody about your green juice and why you created it and why it's better than, than the other ones out on the market based on toxic levels. Sure. Well, I think it's really important. I'll just do a quick snapshot of my backstory. So I didn't grow up in the health industry. I actually grew up over in Eastern Oregon on a small cattle and hay farm. Um, I was hunting and fishing, um, playing baseball at a high level. Um, I grew up on the standard American diet and that worked fine when I was younger and, you know, doing sprint work in the baseball team every day. But, you know, by the age of 37, I was falling apart. I was, uh, I had t- acid reflux really bad. I was eating Tums and Rolaids every day. Um, I had a huge patch of eczema on my knee. It was cracking and bleeding. Eventually that led to eczema on both of my elbows. Then I had another skin issue in my shoulder that was really gross. The doctor shot me full of like cortisone, ate it away. But then there was like an indent. It was like purple. And then a few months later, three little more fat bubbles were bubbling up around it. And then I was like, oh crap this, this is not going away. And what if this comes, comes out of my face? So that was scary. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it got worse. Then I started, uh, bleeding rectally, uh, when I poop, that's why my shirt says, uh, for those of you listening, it says love when you poop, because I used to hate it when I poop, because on a scale of one to 10, it was six to, uh, 10 being very painful. I was a six or a seven, um, on the pain scale. And, um, it's just not, and then, and then it would be followed by blood. So think about this. I'm literally walking around, elbows cracking and bleeding. I'm, I go to your house, I bleed on your walls and I have to clean it up or your couch or the Super Bowl party or whatever. And then, you know, and then I, 
use the restroom and I'm bleeding. So I'm just bleeding all the time. That was my life. Two and a half years, rectal bleeding. Doctors wanted me to go on Prilosec and all this other stuff. And for some reason I knew to stay away from that stuff, but I wasn't, I didn't change my lifestyle. I didn't realize that the food was the, what was hurting me and different foods could be medicine until, well, actually then, then I went on a, a vacation and then the, I had to be life driven basically six hours in the middle of the night um, in, from just in Northern Peru, right below uh, Ecuador to uh, a town called Piora and then flown into Lima, went into emergency surgery and got a, an organ removed and then ended up getting pushed back into the United States in a wheelchair. And that's when I learned, Janine, that my poor health didn't affect just me. It affected everybody else around me. Um, but I still didn't know what to do. Then a buddy of mine, Charles, got diagnosed with chronic lymphocytic leukemia. Um, he said, Hey, I don't, they don't really have anything for me. Will you go with me to the Hippocrates health Institute in West Palm beach, Florida? They're like this 60 some year old at the time detox and nutrition clinic. They basically just put you on a bunch of, you know, purified water and green juices and all these sprouts and sprouted nuts, seeds, grains, and beans and all this stuff. And, and, um, I went there to help him out and, um, that ended up, uh, not only saving his life, but it saved my life. So the, the first class was taught was called internal awareness. And they taught us about eating when you eat food from the time you chew food until the time food exits the body, what happens? I was like, wow, like, this is amazing. Like, how come they didn't teach me this in school? And then they started showing pictures of inside of people's colons that were on the standard American diet, like a 24 year old female with Hashimoto's and thrush, which is a yeast infection. And then her colon was like white and yellow and nasty. And then a 64 year old male with colon cancer and parasites. And it was like brown and black and nasty and worms crawling around. And then, you know, 45 year old female with breast cancer and um, fibromyalgia or something. Right. And then it was just like nasty and yellow and blacks and browns. And he said, now this is a, these people are all in a standard American diet. And this person colon over here eats the way we teach. It was all pink and nice and beautiful and clean. And you can see the blood vessels. And, and then that's when I was like, Oh crap. Like I knew that my colon looked like that and I'd never seen the inside before. So now I was, I was actually in fear mode. I was scared because I was like, Oh my God. And they were trying to teach us how to do, to clean. We need to clean that out because the average person we're talking about detox in here. Well, let's talk about the first one. Uh, you got to get your gut cleaned out because the average person's carrying around about six to 12 pounds, six to 12 pounds of impacted fecal material in the colon. Okay. That's a problem. These, this is a nasty um, low oxygen, high acid uh, environment now in the colon. That's why so many people have colon cancer and it breeds these harmful organisms, viruses, bacteria, mold, yeast, fungus, parasites, cancers, mutagens love this. So he looked at me and he said, Tim, you got 10 pounds of crap in a five pound bag. And if you ever want to be healthy, truly healthy, you have to get this stuff cleaned out and keep it clean, keep it clean and maintenance it. So they were trying to sell us on a colonic or colon hydrotherapy. You're probably familiar with that as a naturopath, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So have you ever had it done? I have. It's, it's eye opening yeah. in many ways because you yeah. don't realize like the different colors that come out and, and the, it's kind of, it's, it's disturbing. Let's put it this way. It's disturbing your first time around because you kind of don't want to think that you're that dirty. And then you, after you go subsequently, you can see the change. And yeah. what's out. It's, it's well, you can imagine me being, you know, a redneck dude, head buried in the sand. Like I remember elbow and Charles say, Hey, okay, buddy, I came here to help you, but I'm not doing that deal. <laughs> but after three, at three and a half hour lecture, I was the first one up there signing up after seeing those. <laughs> what, you know, what got me was the, the camera shots that went inside the colons. Yeah. And him basically saying these three people have been eating the standard American diet and that's what their colon looks like. And if you've been on the standard American diet, you know what you've eaten. I'm like, yeah, I know what I've eaten. Mm -hmm. like chicken strips, Jojo's cake, ice cream, pop candy, maple bars, repeat, you know? And um, I'm like, I'm screwed. My colon's probably worse than that. Cause I'm like, I'm bleeding. Like I have problems. Then all of a sudden it was like, I went there for Charles, but then all of a sudden I'm thinking about myself. I was like, well, maybe this will help me, you know? And um, so the next day I went in and got the colon hydrotherapy thing. They weighed me. They, I did colon hydrotherapy and then they weighed me again. And guess what? I dropped 10 pounds of impacted fecal material. Just like that guy said, the doctor, doctor said. So um, in the record at the, at the Hippocrates Health Institute at the time, this was back in 2011. I don't know if somebody's broke it yet, but one lady had dropped 27 pounds in one, one hour session on, on a colon hydrotherapy um, wow. device there. 27 pounds. I mean, wow. that's the size of a dog. I mean, think about that. 
crazy or a few cats fl- fell out of her, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty. <laughs> so how can you possibly be healthy if you have 10 to 12 pounds of this nasty funk and gunk and junk lining your colon? And the reality is, is that the small intestines plugged up too. Now a colon hydrotherapy session is going to set the stage to start cleaning out that. But, you know, we have an ancient product from India that will help clean the entire system out. Uh, but I still recommend people do colon hydrotherapy. And if you are going to do it, recommend doing it back to back day one and day two. So that, you know, as you clean that out, your body's going to recognize that. And then the liver and the gallbladder are going to start releasing tremendous amounts of toxins they've been holding on to. And then they're going to dump that down in the colon. That's why you want to go back in the second day and sweep it out. Otherwise, a lot of that stuff will go back up through the hepatic vein, which will go back up into their liver. And then it'll sit there and recycle it, recirculate. So you're, you can cut your detox symptoms in half by doing colon hydrotherapy, drinking lots of water and I'm taking gut detox product, but, um, my detox symptoms, uh, because you know, this is pretty, it will happen for people if they go, you know, off the standard American diet, right into, you know, eating like a wild creature, like I did. Um, I had night sweats. I was very irritable. I remember a metallic taste coming off of my tongue as heavy metals were exiting my body. Um, I didn't have it as bad as other people though. Some people had rashes breaking out on their arms, their legs, their face. Some people had them breaking out all over their body as their body was pushing stuff out. Um, more than half of the people had um, parasites coming out in their stools. And I'm not just, you know, you would see the, you know, people always think about the tapeworms, that big, long tapeworm. Right. But some people would have what's called fuzzy stools. They'd have a stool and the stool would look white and fuzzy, whether it be hookworms or pinworms, smaller parasites. And then, you know, I remember walking around the Institute, you'd see people and they'd have a parasite, like literally crawling out a pore in their arm. Wow. Um, one lady, uh, I'll never forget this. I'm having lunch and I looked and I was like, Hey, you have a parasite crawling out of her eye. Like she had a parasite crawling out of her eye. And, and I was, she's like, Oh my God, it's so gross. You know? And it's just like, and people can't believe it, but they only think that a lot of Americans think that parasites are only in third world countries. Well, sorry. Um, over half of Americans have them. And if you live in a city like New York where we're closer in, you know, and uh, then you probably have a higher instant. They're everywhere. Parasites float around in the air. You breathe in, they land on doorknobs, uh, pets, you know, it's, and it's okay. We're, it's okay to have some of them, but they have to be in an, a, a good balance, right? They have to be in a good balance. So why was all this stuff happening? Because see, we, we have been living a stressed out, high acid, low oxygen uh, uh, lifestyle, or, and that's the environment we created the terrain in our body. When you go to like a Hippocrates Health Institute, they put you on a very high alkaline, high oxygen, change the terrain. And then guess what? Those harmful organisms pack their bags and leaves because you make the terrain inhospitable for them. That's why the parasites were exiting. That's why people were going through this detox or sometimes they call it a healing crisis. You're basically doing surgery without a knife. So that's kind of like the all in detox. People are kind of like they hear about this. They do a juice cleanse. They do a juice fast. Um, They feel crappy for a day or two or three. And then, wow, they feel freaking amazing. Right. And they'll do this once in their life. Or maybe if they're really into it, they'll do it twice a year. And then then they go retox. Right. Right. But the problem is, is a lot of them, after they do it the first time, they never go back and do it again because they don't want to go through that first day or two or three of where they feel like crap. So what we've changed over here is we've created what we call the daily detox method. And it's like, let's always be detoxing. Yes. Right. Let's always be detoxing because we're always, always, I mean, like right now you and I are breathing in um, paint, uh, exhaust, basically this paints off gassing into that we're breathing it and there's jet fuel and automobile exhaust and rubber compounds off of tires. I mean, think about it. You buy a brand new tire and then three, four years later, you got to get new tires. Where'd the tire go? <laughs> well, when you drive really fast, the little microscopic compounds go up in the air and then you, those go to the back of your, you breathe them in and they stick to the back of your mucous membrane. And they go down into your system and they get into your bloodstream and then they bioaccumulate. That's how it works. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not causing a problem. And I want to bring attention to these microscopic noceums, just like that doctor did back in the day when, you know, doctors used to like deliver a child and then go give surgery and then kill the person they were giving surgery to. Now today, if a doctor doesn't wash his or her hands before surgery, they'd, it'd be malpractice. They'd lose their license. Everybody knows it because there's, we know about bacteria, but just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Right. So it's really important to do it. I think it's to do a daily detox. 
And as you just timely bring the juice right in there mm -hmm. as the daily detox. I mean, the, the daily detox concept is great. And I'm so glad that when I read what you have on your website and everything there, it was like, yes, finally, someone understands the concept that I was trying to get across all along here is that we need to be thinking and setting ourselves up for daily detox. So of course, folks are listening like, all right, so how do I set myself up? We got your juice there. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so this juice, um, uh, it's called Green 85 Juice Formula. It's, it was our first product. The main ingredient in here, though, is water. And if we're going to talk about daily detoxing, then we got to get our water right, period, because our body's mostly made of what? Water, right? So that's why we recommend people drink half their body weight in liquid ounces of purified water daily. This is our core. We have these core four secrets. Core secret number one, half your body weight, liquid ounces, purified water daily. So if you're 200 pounds, 100 ounces a day. If you're 100 pounds, that's 50 ounces a day. So water today is polluted, Janine. I mean, you go 1,500 miles into the interior of these pristine lakes. There's both, these have the uh, uh, two and two and a half inch little fish have both male and female organs today. Why? Because of the estrogen mimickers from plastics are so pervasive today. Mm -hmm. So these are um, hormone disruptors, endocrine system disruptors. They're messing people up. And for, for us, for women, these are leading to things like breast cancer, uh, uterine cysts, cervical cysts, ovarian cysts for men, prostate cancer, man boobs. Hey guys, you want some man boobs? Well, <laughs> drink, drink out of some plastic, drink out of a plastic bottle. That'll, that'll give it to you. Or don't purify your water. I don't care if you're getting water out of a mountain spring. It needs to be purified today, right? In fact, I had I heard the story of this guy. He literally, to get healthy, he moved... He just wanted to get away from everything. He literally lived on the side of the Colorado Rockies, drank out of a spring, and then he was getting sick and they couldn't figure it out. And this one doctor was like smart enough. He's like, you should check your water. And he's like, nah, I don't need he's like, I live on a side of a mountain. This is the best water in the world. And he, but he was emotionally attached to that. He thought that it was finally, he tested it because he was so desperate and guess what? It was full of heavy metals, a bunch of crap, like 200 miles away fracking that was going on. Yeah. Whether for natural gas and stuff was disturbing the water and there's this underground aquifers and these underground rivers and it was bringing all this crap up on the side of the mountain and that's what was causing his problems as soon as he purified his water he got his health back so today i am big on you have got to purify your water that's number one and if you live in the city your water needs to be restructured because when your water goes if you're on city tap water and I worked in construction. I worked on city water lines. I worked on sewer lines and water lines are under very high pressure. It, natural state of water is about four to five cluster. And when you go, your water is under a high pressure pipe, it's going to make it bigger. It's going to be like 20 to 25 a cluster. Well, guess what? That's like a bowling ball trying to go through a chain link fence. The, the bowling ball being the water molecules and the chain link fence to your intestinal lining. So we need to restructure that water and turn those bowling balls back into sand. You throw sand through a chain link fence, most of it just goes right in. That's where we're at today. And I can tell you, after eight and a half years of teaching and preaching, drink your water, drink, 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 purified water, purified water over and over again, I met this gal, Danusha, and she's like, you need to get this other unit and restructure your water and charge it. And I'm like, nah, I don't need it. I don't know why I wasn't open-minded, but finally um, she had me over and I took a glass just like this. And I filled it up with water and I drank it. And then she had me put a little salt in my mouth to help increase absorption and put some minerals in there. And then she said, in 15 minutes, Tim, I'm going to have you drink another quart of this water. And I was like, wow, I don't know. I drink a lot of water, but that seems like a lot. Um, 15 minutes later, I drank a whole nother quart of water. And Janine, it was like the first one was gone. Wow. It was a different experience. Like, wow. Now, normally I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of water. I pee, I pee, I pee. I drink, I drink, I drink, I pee, I pee. I'm peeing all day long. I don't right. know if that's been your ex experience. Okay. When I drank this. What happened was two things. Number one, in 24 minutes, all of a sudden, bam, my head popped on and then my arms started tingling. And I was just like, I had this crazy energy and mental clarity. And she said, I've never done this before, but since you eat like 70%, you grow your own food. I'm going to have you do a third quart. I drank it. I went home. I was freaking high on water literally for six hours, six hours. I was like high as a kite. 
Nobody is. It's amazing energy, right? And she said, Tim, you're going to love this because you're going to get 80% better absorption now of the food you're, nutrients from the food you're eating and the supplements you're taking. Well, I'm all about that. I want better absorption. So I called her after my coaching deal and I said, hey, I need to get one of these units. And um, I've been promoting those ever since. But everybody always calls and says, hey, because I'd say go to Danusha at dgmail.com. And then we get all these phone calls trying to spell Danusha. So I created a landing page for her called My Purified Water. Dot com because it's easier to say than Danusha if you want to get a free consult with Danusha and get your water right. So step one, you got to get it purified. Step two, it needs to be restructured. This is the one of the biggest hacks that I'll share with you as far as daily detoxing goes. Because think about it. If you're going to drink some water tomorrow, two weeks from now, two years from now, you got to get your water right. And if, if it's not, this is the probably the most biggest investment you're going to make in your health actually financially as well. So you really need to um, do the best you can start with one unit and then maybe, cause I do too. There's going to be two things. You got to get the purifier and then you got to get the second unit to restructure it. Okay. All right. So that's number one. Number two, now you got to start for detoxing. You have to chew your food until liquefied. Oh, is, my other big thing. You have to, you, you have to do it. <laughs> yeah, you have to. I learned that in that class years ago. You have two ducts in your upper mouth and four in your lower mouth that secrete enzymes, amylase, and lipase. These are going to break down your starches and your fats. And, and, and people think that digestion happens in the gut. No, most of it's actually happening in the mouth. You're preloading all that food with these enzymes. Then you swallow, and then the enzymes in the stomach then finish breaking down the food. That's how it works. So chewing your food is the first domino in digestion, and um, that's uh, if you do that, you're going to have digestion and assimilation of nutrients. If you just inhale your food like Garfield, like I used to, you're going to have fermentation and gut rot. And you don't want that because you're going to be destroying these intestinal villi, these little hair-like structures lining your intestinal lining over time. And you're going to end up with me like leaky gut syndrome where you have these holes, uh, tears in your intestinal lining and then undigested food particles and microbes get in there and they cause inflammation and a whole bunch of other problems. So chewing your food game changer, less than 4% of the population is doing it. And Dr. Gabriel Cousins also added that when you chew and you st you're stimulating your meridian points, you actually uptake your serotonin by up to 500%. So for those of you with anxiety and depression out there trying to, you know, find a drug or a supplement to help you find some happiness, serotonin, that's our happy juice right there. Just by chewing your food, you can get happier. Game changer. Uh, core secret number three is um, avoid liquids with meals. Now that you're drinking lots of water, chewing your food, um, you want to avoid liquids with meals. Why? Because you you will dilute those digestive enzymes you work so hard chewing to put into the food. And then you're going to go from digestion and assimilation back to fermentation and gut rot. So rule of thumb for beginners, stop drinking liquids a half an hour before you eat and then wait an hour after until you're done. And then drink a lot of liquids again. If you have stage four cancer, you're an Olympic level athlete, you want to feel, look and feel your best, stop drinking liquids an hour before you eat and then wait two hours after you're done eating and then drink a lot of liquids again. Less than 2% of the population is doing that. And then um, the last one is um, doing some breath work before you eat. Mm. You know, we live in a stressed out society um, and then throw COVID on top of it with the 24 seven fear mongering by the corrupt media on <laughs> all media not just one station. They're all, if you, if, you, if you like one station and you don't like another, I promise you, I'll put my son's eyes on it. That behind the scenes, they're working together. And um, I know this because I've done my research on it, just like I have on the supplement labels. So um, yeah. So you, what happens is, is that if you're, if you're in fight or flight mode, the blood leaves the organ systems and it goes to the arms, legs, hands, and feet to fight or flight, to run. And you can't digest your food well. So simply by taking a deep breath in through the nose like this. And then pause and then release out through the mouth. And pause at the bottom with your lungs completely empty. Back in through the nose. And then pause. And then relax out through the mouth. And just while you're going through this process, just be grateful for your food, grateful for the people in your life. And guess what? You're going to, all that blood's going to rush from your extremities back into the organ systems. Now you're going to have a, a chance to really digest your food well. Less than 1% of the population is doing this. So again, massive room for improvement here. And if you have anxiety or depression or social anxiety, that kind of stuff, this 
breathwork tool is one of the most powerful things that I could ever share with you. And a lot of people don't do it because they believe it's woo woo and all that stuff. And believe me, I was there because I was Eastern Oregon redneck. I'm like, this stuff doesn't work. How could it? It doesn't cost anything. The only thing that I just shared with you out of those core four secrets, it's going to be an investment is getting your water right, but chewing your food, avoiding liquids with meals and doing breath work. That's not going to cost you anything. You can start with those like right now. And even if you don't have your water right, just start, okay, even if your water's crappy, start drinking more of it. It's better to be drinking crappy water than no water, right? So um, how do I know those work? I've been practicing them for 11 years. They are the core to our coaching program, the foundation. This is before people, we haven't changed their diet, before exercise, anything, even before our supplements. And I know they work really well because we get emails daily. We ship worldwide with our products. We ship to Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, and guess what? It can take two weeks to a month sometimes to get our products there because of the COVID delays. And we have people saying, Tim, I've already got less gas and bloating. I got more energy. I got more mental clarity. And why? Because they're doing some of these core secrets. And they're really not secrets. They're just, I mean, things mom probably told you, but you didn't listen to her, right? So anyway, I just want to share those because that is the foundation to getting this detoxing stuff going, um, which then now I... I'm the longest winded answer of your question about the green juice ever, but (laughs) now you set it up for what has to happen before the green juice. Yeah. So water's first, you got to get the gut clean. Okay. You got to get the gut clean. So we started actually green, green 85 was our first product. A lot of people would be taking it, Janine. Like they feel amazing. They're like, wow, I'm getting a lot of movement down there. Like as the body and the gut was detoxing the stuff, small intestine, but then, you know, about 15% of people were getting plugged up actually taking green 85. And um, why is that? Well, because it cleans from the top down. So what I realized is that people like me are so plugged up the bottom was so plugged up that as the crap came from the top down, it they got plugged up. So we really needed to clean them out. Now, I used to use a magnesium supplement to, to turn into oxygen and liquefy everything, but that was a little rough. Dr. Treadway showed me this ancient formula from India called gut detox. So you simply take three in the morning, three at night for 15 days. You can drink the greens with it and it'll clean out that whole thing. And um, But very gentle. There's no diarrhea. Uh, there's no diarrhea. There's no diarrhea and there's no diarrhea. I just want to tell you that because a lot of people think that this is going to be like, I can't do this while I'm working. Yeah, like you can do it. You can do it this one while you're working, while you're traveling, while you're playing sports. You might not even notice your detox and you might notice some increased stool volume because it's very gentle. This formula, he told me, he said, it didn't matter uh, when he studied in those two clinics of thousands of years of apprenticeship, no matter what people's health issues were, what they came in for, that formula, that gut detox formula, everybody was on it because it was such a good body balance, but we're using it as a very gentle intestinal track uh, uh, detox or cleanse. Now, after you've completed the initial 15 days, then you don't take it twice a day anymore. You just take three capsules in the morning a day for maintenance. That's it. There's your daily detox to keep the intestinal lining clean and Long-term, it will slowly clean up the organ systems. So think of this gut detox as your gut and organ mechanic. It's your daily insurance policy for your gut and your organs. The greens, you'll keep taking those, keep flooding. That'll that'll keep flooding the body with the eight and replacing what's missing in the soil. That's why we call it green 85. It replaces the 85% of nutrients missing in the soil. And since we're talking about detoxing, I'll talk about our other toxin. Uh, it's called Toxin Detox, our other product. This one was two formulas originally developed for the military to pull the depleted uranium out of our soldiers. Our formulator, Dr. Scott Treadway, had a buddy in the military who was a medical doc. And he said it was really unfortunate, Scott. They were just bullshitting one day. And he's, he said, these poor kids are coming back and they're dying of depleted uranium poisoning. And he goes, I'm handcuffed. The, the VA won't let me talk about it and they won't let me diagnose it and they won't let me treat it. Mm. So he was very frustrated, probably because some liability there, right? Because they put the depleted uranium on the tank round. So they're causing the problem themselves with the war bullet things. Anyway, um, Scott being a good guy, he wanted to fix it. So he See smart. So he comes up with these two formulas. He said, Hey, have him take this and then have him take that. So the doctor said, I can't tell you what to do, but do this and do that. And then they started healing. So when I don't know if you're familiar with chemtrails, but when I heard about them, um, I got ticked off because my grandma grandpa died of uh Alzheimer's and he was healthy, but physically lost his mind for the last seven years. And I swear to God, um, I was never gonna go that way. I was going to do everything I can to keep my brain intact and working until I decided to leave this planet. 
And when I found out about these nano-sized aluminum particles that are being sprayed on us that go up our orifactory nerves and into our brains, um, causing Alzheimer's and dementia and memory loss, I was upset. Like you and I are breathing them in right now. Every one of you listening today, you're breathing this in and know this is not conspiracy. How do I know? Because even if you think it is, you can simply go to the biologist and they have things called water samples and dirt, soil samples and plant samples. And guess what? If you look at the aluminum toxicity, whether you think it's coming from a chemtrail or wherever, you know, it doesn't matter. It's showing up in our environment and the levels are so bad today that it's actually killing plants. Some plants are dying of aluminum toxicity. So yes, it's a problem. We have to, and I knew this before, I knew aluminum was a problem. When we had people with Alzheimer's and dementia in our coaching program, the first thing we were doing was getting them off aluminum cookware and pans and, and getting them off of sugars, right? So I knew it was a problem. We took those two formulas and combined them into one. It's called toxin detox. Not only what helped pull out the heavy metals, the mercury, the cadmiums, the leads, the aluminums, but it's also going to pull out like radiation from like things like Fukushima um, and also heavy uh, man-made toxins like pesticides, fungicides, herbicides, larvicides, you know, glyphosate from Roundup and all this other crap things we're breathing in. So Every day, I just take three of my toxin detox to purify my blood, fat, and muscle tissue intercellularly, and I take three of those gut detox, and then I wash it down with a bunch of purified restructured water with my greens. That's my morning routine. It takes me like one, two minutes max, and I'm out the door. I go do my deal. So that's it. You know, um, we have other products that, that do a lot of other stuff, but I don't want to just be a product thing. I just, I really wanted to... Um, maybe switch gears and, and go into more detail on supplements or whatever else you wanted to share. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is great. I think for, for a lot of folks to understand, you know, what they can do to, to detox on, on a daily level is important and they can find all of these products, of course, on your website, chemicalfreebody.com. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So at this point, folks, if you're looking for any of these, then, and I hope you are go over there now. The other reason that I really wanted to talk to Tim about his products is, is the research that he's done diving into supplements because there are some things in your day in day out supplements that could be really keeping you from getting the progress that you want with the certain supplements. So Tim, tell us those three main things that are problematic Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, when I left the Hippocrates Health Institute, I'm like, I'm going to heal myself with whole foods. I don't need supplements. Because remember, I was the guy, I, I, I didn't want Prilosec. I didn't want all those weird name pharmaceutical drugs. I don't need supplements. I'm just, I'm nature boy. I grew up in the woods. I grew up in a farm. And, but what I learned was, again, is that 85% of the nutrients have been farmed out of the soil. So even if you switch over and you're eating organic, it's most likely you're still on 15% fuel because it's been in the soil. It's not going to be in the plant or the animal that ate the plant. So when I added in concentrated whole food and herbal supplementation, it took my health up two more levels. I was like, whoa, substantial difference. Supplementation today is not a necessity. It's not a luxury. It is a necessity. I say the same thing about massage because we have to get our lymphatic system moving and a lot of people aren't moving around enough to do it. So I think massage and, and whole food supplementation are necess necess necessities today. Okay. Now with that said, let me give you the big scope. 85% of the supplements on the market today, Janine, are manufactured by pharmaceutical companies. And these are pure synthetics. So whether they sell you a synthetic drug or they sell you a synthetic vitamin, they're going to sell you a synthetic and synthetics are acid based and our bodies are made of carbon. We are carbon based beings, acid and carbon ain't going to work. It doesn't mix. Now, if you look at the whole industry as a whole, 92% of all the supplements on the market are synthetic products. These are acid based. So what leaves us with is the 8% that are whole food or food based. That's good. But there's a problem. When you're looking at supplements, there's this thing called other ingredients. And guess what? The other ingredients are also ingredients. You're still going to eat them. Now, hopefully this will work. I'll, I'll zoom in here. Is this on YouTube at all or is it? It is will be. Yeah. Audio. So I'll, I'll see if I'll, as I'm talking, I'll pull this in. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to get the darn camera to zoom in here. But on our supplement labels, it says no magnesium stearate, no silicon dioxide, no dicalcium phosphate in red. Okay. Sorry, it didn't, it didn't pull up there, but no magnesium stearate, no silicon dioxide, no dicalcium phosphate. Why did I put that on there? Well, I've read a lot of labels. I've done my homework and guess what? These are toxins. 
Silicon dioxide, as an example, is a level three toxin on the EPA's toxin list. Yet it's in most of our supplements. Go check your labels, right? Mm -hmm. Check your freaking labels and read this stuff. So that was very frustrating um, to find that out. And here's the reality. Let's say you have, Janine, you have a, an award-winning brownie recipe, okay? Your brownie recipe, you win state, you won nationals. It's amazing, right? And um, let's say you have, a, you have a daughter and she comes over and she's like, mama, me and my, me and my friend, we want to go watch this movie. It's amazing. All the kids in high school are watching it. Oh, well, what's it rated? Well, I knew you were going to ask, but it's rated R. Well, honey, you're 16. You know, you can't go to that. But mom, everybody's watching it. And guess what? There's only one cuss word in the whole movie. It should be, it, it, besides this cuss word and this one brief scene of nudity where this guy walks by and you can barely see his butt cheek, um, it would be totally be PG-13. And everybody, I already kind of know what's going on. And she's like, oh, oh, okay. Well, okay, you can go then, but under one condition. And her and her friend were like so excited. They can't believe it. Janine's going to let them go to the movie. Mom would never let her do this. You have to eat one of my brownies before you go. They look at each other and they're like, hmm, okay, cool. And they think it's weird. They grab the brownies. They're about ready to dive in and you stop them. You say, hey, honey, hold on a second. Before you eat that brownie, I want you to let you know that um, this batch is a little bit different than how I normally make them. Now, it's the same ingredients, same recipe, but there's just, there's just one ingredient that's a little bit different. Now, there's not much in there. You won't even notice it. You can't taste it. You can't see it. But I put in just a little tiny, not much, but just a teeny amount, not just a little bit of cat poop. And the girls throw the brownies down. They're like, oh, my God, this is disgusting. I'm not eating that. And then, then you tell them, and that's exactly why you're not going to go watch that movie either. Because even though the movie's amazing and all this other stuff, that cuss word and that brief scene of nudity has tainted the entire movie. And it's not something that a 16-year-old girl should go watch. And then she was like bummed out because she couldn't go, but she understood the message. And I believe the same thing in our food. Our food today has been polluted. You know, meats as an example have nitrates and nitrates in them as, just as an example. And if you're walking in to get meat and if it didn't have nitrates or nitrates, about 40% of that meat would look gray. Would you want to eat gray meat? Probably not, but you are. Um, and the same thing with supplements. Um, you can have a good formula, but if it has magnesium stearate in it or silicon dioxide or dicalcium phosphate, it's way worse than cat poop because these are toxic fillers, flow agents, and binders that supplement uh, manufacturers are using to put into these things. So we believe that that's a moral sin. Um, I think there's nothing more precious or a bigger responsibility than, or than what, sacred than what we put in our mouths. And um, so we make sure that all of our stuff is like, you know, whole food, whole herbs, concentrated, sun-dried, air-dried, under 110 degrees to keep the enzymes active, no slave labor. Um, we go to the extreme amount of effort. That's why we tell people in Green 85, please don't blend it. A high-speed blender is going to kill. 90 seconds in a high-speed blender will destroy 85 to 92% of the nutrients of whatever you're putting in there. So we went on for a lot of effort to keep the life force, the enzymes active. It's literally going to transfer energy to your cells. This is a whole nother level of nutrition. This is an energetic, these are energetic products. These are life, they have life force in them. So um, if you're going to blend something, blend up your smoothie, whatever, throw the green 85 in later, shake it up, stir it up, and then take it that way. You'd, you'd be much better off. So anyway, that's my point. And um, as an example, if you guys want to go ahead and pull out your multivitamins and I'll show you how to read labels real quick. If on your multivitamin, you usually you'll see vitamin C behind it in parentheses. If you see it, say ascorbic acid, you're consuming a synthetic chemical. It should say in parentheses behind it. If it's a whole food source from the Arceola cherry, or it might say from the camu camu berry, or it might say from the omla berry, my favorite. Now, you know, you've got a whole food supplement. That's how you read labels. You have to, it has to, it should say the whole food form behind the nutrient. And then you have to go down below and you have to check those other ingredients and make sure it doesn't have the stuff I said in there. Or and you got to watch out too for things. That's, if it says like bovine gelatin, well, what is or capsule? What is that? Well, that means it came from cow heights. Bovine is a cow. So you have to be careful there because would they feed the cow? Did they feed the cow genetically modified corn, genetically modified soy? You know, a lot of these are coming, these, these gelatin capsules are actually coming from diseased cow hides. Think about that. And then you're giving that to yourself or your kids. So there's these little things that you have to learn, but it, it ends up getting worse. 
is that some of these big manufacturers have things in there that they don't even have to tell you now. And I can't say because I'd get sued, but there's major corporations and big box stores and big grocery stores out there like Whole Foods that have a lot of shelf space and they say natural and organic and they sell a lot of products, but guess what? They're selling you synthetics. And I know this because I'm an insider and what they do is they take a synthetic and they force it into a yeast and the yeast is a natural substance. So they force the yeast to eat it. And then somehow the synthetic is no longer a synthetic. And then they bottle that crap up and put it in a store under an organic label and you consume it. So this is where we're at today. So when you're purchasing supplements, you have to really know the people behind the company, what they believe in. Otherwise um, it's, it's basically like Russian roulette. Good luck. Yes. Yes. It is. It is very, uh, a very interesting industry. Let's, let's say that at, at the very least. And, and it is mm-hmm. one of those things where a lot of people will ask me, well, is it better to just not do supplements and start eating healthy first and, and come up with the supplement plan later? Well, I, if you have this information, you can, you can start doing it. And like, like with our products, I always tell people if, if, if one of our products doesn't work, call us, not, we'll refund your money we have a double your money back guarantee because I'm so confident in everything we do, but there's other companies out there that have good products. There are, I, because I've learned how to read labels and I've, I've called the companies and I know how to do this kind of stuff. So, but the problem is, is like they might have 20 products, but there might only be two or three in their product mixture that I would recommend. Right. So, but there, there are, there are other companies that have good products out there, but it's just, we're, we're, we're like needles in haystacks though. It's really hard to find. It's true. It's true. And, and manufacturing is more expensive. And that's something that I will always tell folks that you're gonna, if you're going to cheap out on your supplements, you're going to get cheap supplements. I mean, mm-hmm. like the dollar menu at McDonald's, what do you think you're getting? So, you know, it's, you got to think about it that way. So, okay. We've talked supplements. We've talked about detoxing. One of the other really kind of big things that we were talking about is how do we get this stuff out on our cellular level, on our skin level? We were talking about saunas when we first jumped on the call. And I'd love for you to to go into a little bit what your rituals are, what you do to try to help your body kind of pull things out to the surface, if you will. Okay. Well, core four secrets. I take my products daily. Um, I also... Um, I will say one other thing, cause we just, this, this, I didn't even tell you about this, but we bought a, are you familiar with micronization? Yes. Okay. So we bought a machine that does micronization. What that is for those listening, it, it makes things mechanically really tiny. That's what it does. Okay. So we took, we have a turmeric product suspended in liquid. We micronized 95% of the the curcuminoids. This is the active, right? I did this because my goal is to get maximum absorption of nutrients on a cellular level and maximum detoxification on a cellular level. I want my cells to be able to release waste. And because of cellular inflammation, it blocks nutrient absorption and waste removal. So this this turmeric product, you squirt it in your mouth, it literally disappears, Janine, right through your mucous membrane. And within five minutes, it's going through your bloodstream. It does not go through the digestive tract. There is no black pepper needed. This is a massive way to detox on a cellular level. Okay. Now, so that was something that I added to my lifestyle um, about four or five months ago. And I can tell you, I can it, it cut my um, inflammation of my knees from trail running in half. So instead of being only trail run once a week, I can do it twice a week. Now, when I added in magnesium foot soaks and those saunas, um, wow, I can actually trail run every day now. I don't have any inflammation in my body at all anymore. And I just turned 48 today. Today's actually my birthday. <laughs> well, happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so that's really cool. So when you're 48 and you can feel like you're 19 and you know, you can go trail running. I went trail running a few weeks ago with my 18 year old and about mile three, he's like, okay, dad, stop a minute. He's like, God, you're kicking my butt. He goes, I can't believe it. And I was like, well, you know, I, it's pretty awesome. I, I, I'm really enjoying myself right now. <laughs> <laughs> like le- leading by example, because, you know, 11 years ago, I, I would, I, I couldn't even run around a track once I would have been, I would have fell over. Right? right. So it was, it's really cool because I was able to reclaim my health, but um, to, uh, yeah, to, for detoxing, what I do in my lifestyle, um, you know, um, well, well, I guess we'll talk about the saunas and then I'd like to talk about, you know, stop putting things in. So yeah. Saunas are really important. Um, I've been a sauna dealer for 10 years, eight and a half years. Um, And uh, 
but we, I was telling you, I, I, yeah. I just sold my $5,400 sauna. I bought this little $1,900 unit because it's like six times better. So what, what saunas do, and they're so important, I believe that everybody should be taking a sauna daily. So Dr. Coyne is a very brilliant doctor. Now, if a doctor has two specialties, they're considered a genius. Okay, Dr. Coyne, I don't know if you're familiar with him, he's got five specialties. <laughs> he um, developed a virtual colonoscopy with Siemens Corporation, did some other things. He was talking to Dr. Brian Clement, who runs the Hippocrates Health Institute, where I went, where I turned my life around. And um, he was he was hired by the FDA to study hyperthermia treatments they were doing over in Europe about a decade ago for uh, curing cancer. Are you familiar with that? No. Yeah. So over in Europe, they were raising the core temperature of people's bodies, hyperthermia, right? Hyper up thermia. And um, it was killing cancer cells. Uh, the problem was, is that they had to uh, administer um, anti-convulsion medication. So this had to be under medical care when you did this. Well, but it was working. So, and, and you know, cancer so rampant over here in the U.S., so many people started finding out about it. And they just calling the FDA and said, hey, look, we want this hyperthermia treatment here let's go. And so they hired Dr. Coyne and six of his genius friends to do this five-year study on hyperthermia. At the end of that five-year study in 2000, somewhere between 2011 and 2013, after my first visit at Hippocrates, um, and I'll, I will say this, there was a, there was a, an old Finlandia sauna at the Institute in 2011. That's it. One. Okay. Now, 2013, I go back, it was different. So, Dr. Coyne has the conversation with Dr. Clement and Dr. Clement's like, look, dude, what happened? We, we want to implement this. If it's helping people, this hyperthermia thing, how can we do it? He said, look, Brian, if you'll just get your clients into an infrared sauna six days a week for 30 minutes, it's much more effective at killing cancer cells than the hyperthermia treatment that we studied for five years, which by the way, is very effective. I go back in 2013, I go through the life change program again at Hippocrates and guess what? Every nook and cranny on that 50 acre thing was full of saunas. Dr. Clement invested hundreds of thousands of dollars. He put saunas everywhere and he himself personally will not, he takes a sauna every day. He was traveling before COVID 180 days a year and he wouldn't go speak or see you unless there was a sauna where he could sauna because of how impactful it is on the human body. Now I'm not going to get in deep into the details, but from that story, I bought a sauna and I, I did all the research and I found the best ones. But um, I thought um, until I found this little unit, it's about six times better. So we don't need to get into a lot of it, but these units are way more affordable. You can get them for 1300 to 1900 bucks, And they're six times better than the best saunas that I was selling for, you know, eight and a half years. And um, you can literally get into your body and detox and detox every single day in 15 to 20 minutes, push stuff out at the deepest levels, charge your cells with energy um, rejuvenate your skin because infrared will actually go in and shrink the water molecules and shrink the blood molecules and, and create vasculation in your arteries, veins, and capillaries. So you get more blood flow. And then those, those blood cells can actually get deeper out in, out into the capillaries again and start rejuvenating skin and bringing back that youthful appearance. But more importantly, just bringing back your health. It's also phenomenal for pain and inflammation. People with severe back pain. We had a guy that was like super chronic pain his whole life. Every day he wakes up completely miserable. He takes a sauna. He has no pain, but he was still waking up in the morning with pain. So he actually took the guts out of the unit and he just flips it on at night and he turns it on. He has it running all night long with the windows open and the AC. And now he wakes up pain free. So wow. that was just kind of a weird thing that he did. But so there's something very special about water. It's vibrational frequency is infrared, specifically eight microns. And this little machine They've cracked the code. It's actually 98% pure infrared. This breaks a natural law called Planck's law developed by Dr. Max Planck over at the Max Planck Institute. He didn't develop it. He just discovered it like Sir Isaac Newton discovered gravity, another natural law. All the other saunas are that, that I was promoting maybe could be 50% pure infrared. This is 98% pure. That's why they're so great. And they're a third of the cost. So I'm really happy about it because now it's more affordable for people. And I gave you that link. It's just the healthy sauna.com. If people want to check out that sauna and get the hundred dollar discount code, it's the healthy sauna.com. So that's probably the biggest thing that I do daily to do that. Now let's talk about not putting stuff in the body though, too. Not just about getting it out. 
Let's go for it. Yes. So your house is freaking polluted, right? So you can get air purification systems, inline stand-up units. But the first thing you should do is just crack your freaking window at your house, especially when you're sleeping. Get the windows open and get fresh air into the house. These airtight, super high-frequency, high-energy efficient homes are polluting the crap out of us. Old drafty houses are much healthier for us than, than these because they trap in all this stuff. That would be number one. Number two, get outside as much as possible and get your feet bare and walk around on the dirt. Literally, get in the dirt, breathe the dirt, get into the dirt, go to the beach, get get outside, get the sunshine, get it outside as much as possible. I would also say this, leave your cell phone at home. We also need to really think about technology detoxing or technology fasting. Um, Chinese will do this. People pay thousands of bucks. They go to China and they, what do they have them do? Just walk around in the forest with no cell phones and people heal. People forget that our immune system and our body is part of the ecosystem of planet earth. And you simply by re plugging back into nature, that's the easiest way to heal sunshine, purified water, clean air, clean food, right? Hopefully clean elections at some point in time, <laughs> right? These things are important for us. They're really important. I mean, nature's, nature's the answer. It's like, this isn't rocket science. All the stuff we talked about here today. I mean, there's, you know, it, it's chew your food, you know, do some breath work, <laughs> you know, unfortunately because of all the man-made crap, we have to pay money and we have to buy these units to clean up our water and our air. But, you know, once you get that stuff done, you know, stop buying foods with have lists of ingredients that you can't pronounce, right? Um, how about this? If your toothpaste is harmful if swallowed, please contact the Poison Control Center. Uh, you might want to rethink putting that in your mouth again, right? Or how about your shampoo if it says sodium laurel sulfate on it, which is a known carcinogen? Go look at your, your shampoos and your conditioners. I remember when I got back from Hippocrates, I looked at my, my toothpaste. Harmful of swallowed, please contact the Poison Control Center. Dang it. Throw that away. Um, I went to my shampoo, sodium lauryl sulfate, first ingredient, right? Anything that comes into contact with your skin or that you drink or eat, it needs, it, 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 it needs to be nature. That's it. It's really simple. And here's the rule of thumb for ladies out there for makeups and lotions. If you can't eat it, don't put it on your skin. There you go. That solves, that's your, that your litmus test. If you can't eat it, don't put it on your skin. That will eliminate a lot of products that will hurt you right there. So we, it's not just about getting stuff out. It's about let's stop putting it in too. Right. Mm -hmm. And learning about this stuff and buying local, using your buying dollars to change industry. Stop giving your money to these companies that are polluting the planet and polluting you and your family, you know, and don't take my word for it. When you guys are done here, go to the website, your URL and just type in three words, umbilical cord and chemical, those three words, umbilical cord and chemical. And you'll see the studies going back to 2005. Every single time they test the umbilical cord blood of young women and these young babies, they look for 400 chemicals. They find 250 of what they're looking for and 180 cause cancer in humans, 212 cause developmental and brain disorders. So we are born Janine polluted today. I remember reading these studies and I sat back in my chair and I'm not the like smartest scientist in the world, but I was like, Oh my God, we are all polluted. And the older we are, the more breaths we've taken, the more crap we've put on our skin, the more foods that we've eaten, the longer we've had to bioaccumulate these toxins in our blood, our fat and our muscle tissue. Just because you can't see them doesn't mean they're not there. So my goal in life now is to bring awareness to these chemical toxins and I'll give people lifestyles and hacks and things they can do to start getting them out and stop putting them in. And when you do this, your immune system will come back so fast. It's your best friend. It's just sitting there waiting for you to do this. Um, and you're going to feel better than you felt in years. And I can tell you that because I'm, like I said, I'm 48 and I feel like I'm 19. I've got abundant energy all the time. I feel great. And it's like a do over for me. Like I, I like, I literally have to pinch myself because i um, I can't believe where I was the guy with the big fat gut. I looked like a salamander with all my skin issues. I'm bleeding all over the place 11 years ago. And now here I am, you know, out running my 18 year old on a trail run three weeks ago. Pretty cool. 
right? So we as parents can be examples to our kids. They're waiting for us to do this, that we need to get back to nature. We have to do what mama bear did, which is lead by example, show baby bear what to do. Don't tell people what to do. Go do, go do, go do, go do. Be the example, be the change, change your life. And that's how you get other people to change. Put yourself first. Don't, don't put yourself last until a wheel falls off and you end up in the hospital and you go down that $3.3 $3.3 trillion medical industry that's broken. You know, we are the sickest people that have ever walked the face of the earth. We can't keep doing the same things and expecting different results. That's the definition of insanity, isn't it? So I would say put yourself first and get back to nature. And that's probably the quickest way to get your health back and your life back and, and be a good shining example to your family and your community. Well, that is one way to lay it all out on the line there, Tim. <laughs> Thank you for saying all of the things that, you know, we just need reinforced over and over again. And I think if we we turn this into our, our media platform, hopefully we can change the message around here for folks to work to stimulate their, their immune systems on their own and not have to rely on certain interventions to to. I don't even, I'm not going there. So there you have it. Um, So thank you so much for coming on. We want folks to go over to chemicalfreebody.com and you can find all of Tim's products there. You've got videos, you've got trainings, and you have your show, the Health Heroes Show, which- Oh, yeah. Yeah, so if if, if, if I was going to say this, if if people want to get products, because we have a lot of them, it can be confusing. Mm -hmm. Just go to the website at chemicalfreebody.com. If you want to try them out, like I said, you go to the products tab, scroll down to savings bundles. That way you can get a discount. You can start with a little jumpstart bundle, just stick your toes in the water. Or if you want to go, if you're an all in type of person, you want to do what I do on a monthly basis, I do the total energy and detox bundle. And then I also take our new turmeric product. Um, but there's other bundles in between. So just pick something that resonates with you or that fits into your budget. And then at checkout, put in the health fix, and then you can get an additional 5% off on your first purchase. So that way you can get a double discount. And again, we have a double your money back guarantee on all of our products. And the podcast, the health hero show is there for you guys to have, it's got a lot of information. That's where, um, uh, Janine's, uh, husband, Joel, uh, he went and watched, uh, I did an episode uh, on sprouting mm-hmm. and he got all motivated about sprouting. Now she's got sprouts growing out her ears, which is really cool. <laughs> right. So again, ladies, if you need help with your husbands, hopefully I'm, I'll be there for you. I'm really good with the guys and uh, 70% of our clients are women. So I've realized that women are smarter than men. Um, I keep learning this over and over again. There's so many things in my life, which is really cool. So thank you ladies for being you um, and being uh, examples to us guys, because we really need you. <laughs> well, thanks so much, Tim, for inspiring my husband and for coming on the show and talking with us today. I can't wait to hear more from you as things go along and you investigate more stuff and, and bring it all to awareness for us. Thanks again. I appreciate it. Thank you, Janine. Hey, Health Junkies, I hope you enjoyed my podcast. If you want to continue the conversation based on what topic I'm talking about at any given time on the Health Fix podcast, head over to my Facebook group, Find Your Health Fix. It's where we are talking about what's going on in health, what I'm talking about in the podcast, and I love to answer questions there. So come hang out and join the conversation. And by the way, right now I have a free Manage Your Stress Naturally course that you can grab on my website at drjkrausnd.com because so many people are stressed out right now and really it has to do with the basics, your routines and simple habits that are messing you up. So head on over to drjkrausnd.com and go check out my free course on managing stress naturally. All right, folks, have a great day, whatever you're doing. Subscribe, rate, and share info. 